I don't know, because I don't know what a director is supposed to do, really, other than assemble a team and make sure everybody's on the same page and visualize the idea that you have in your head and make sure that it feels right and it looks right and it sounds right and everything seems right, like, just to try to, to, try to actualize the vision in my head, you know? Um, fucking anybody can do that, you know? Well, when I, you're, see, when I you're honestly me. believe, so I didn't take lessons to play the drums, I didn't take lessons to play guitar, but I was passionate about learning these things. I'm a high school dropout, I never finished high school, so to me, the idea, to what my mother always told me was that, you know, school isn't supposed to teach you, like, specific things that you need, that information that you have to retain for the rest of your life, because I guarantee you, 100% of the people in here forgot half the fucking shit they were, like, <laughs> struggling over in high school and how it applies to their life, you know. The idea of school is to teach you how to learn and how to continue to learn so that you get those skills on how to learn something and then you continue to use those skills later in life. And so if you're passionate about doing something and you're driven and you're focused on it, then I think you can do fucking anything you want to do. So I'm lucky because I have these wonderful people that I work with and these you know, amazing resources and stuff like that to do something like this. But I think that anybody could do this. Like, I think that, I mean, you know, anybody could do what I've done as long as they're passionate about it and driven and focused. They could absolutely do it. Especially now with technology, where it's available to everybody, you can make a fucking movie on your iPhone and cut it in your iMovie and put it on your <laughs> iPad. Or what the fuck they don't have. It's true. It's, it's one of the funny things about the conversation, the technology in the movie, is everyone we talk about how it levels the playing field. It couldn't be more true in my case. Yeah, but equally, I mean, there is a sense within the film, I mean, it, you know, uh, there's a sense that we're seeing the passing of a very particular period in history, not just Sound City. It's the idea of, you know, those big studios were there, they were the places where people congregated, you know, whether it's, whether it's Abbey Road, which is thankfully still here, or whether it was Sound City. Um, and, and there is this sense within that that this is a moment that we won't really see again. So technology has, I mean, I think Josh makes the point really well, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. true. I mean, it's a double-edged sword. It's amazing that now these tools are available to everybody. Like, anyone can make an album in their house, and with the click of a button, you can distribute it to the rest of the world. Like, you know, when we were kids making the crappy hardcore seven inches and trying to get the local record store to fucking sell them, that would have been a dream come true, you know? It's a lot easier now to make that happen. But like Trent says, does that mean there's a lot more great music out there now? Not really. Because it has nothing to do with technology. Like, any of this has not... The reason why the movie works is because it has a heart and a soul. The reason why a song works is because it has a heart and a soul. It doesn't matter, it really doesn't matter what tools you use to make that happen, you know. I think a, a lot of people look at the movie like it has an anti-digital uh, um, message to it, which I don't think it does. I think what we're trying to inspire people is not, I mean, you don't need a fucking board that big and a two-inch tape to make a great record. You can make a great record on your laptop. It just has to have that human element. There has to have a heart and a soul to it. You can't, you can't rely on these things to do it for you. And that's kind of the message of the film, you know. I'm not Amish, you know. I use <laughs> a computer and things too. I use Pro Tools all the time. I demo shit. What? Pro Tools. I do, of course. Why not? Fuck. I know. <laughs> After that, you, you, does Neil Young know about this? Well, he uses it too. So it's petty. Like everybody does. You know, do we prefer to like get our hands dirty and fucking wind a spool of tape and put it on a, uh, a machine and do it old school? Well, yeah. You know, it's like having a barbecue in your backyard. Um, but at the same time, it's like the most important thing to me personally isn't really what tools you use. It's that you that it comes from a place that is you. You know, that when you when you're singing, it sounds like you, and when you're uh, performing, it's it's human. You know.